You know, I like to tell people that Food and Shelter does two things really well. We feed people who are hungry, and we wrap our arms around those who are lost and alone and help them find their way home. We have people who live on the streets who have no other place they call home, so they can come in and shower, launder their clothes, check their mail, check their email, and also get hot meals two times a day, every day of the year. Our current soup kitchen at Food and Shelter seats about 60 people, and this one will seat about 200. We actually call it McCown Village, named after Gene McCown and his wife Judy, who raised the funds to make it happen. Gene's company, Ideal Homes, has built every one of these housing units. A three-person town. Here's mom's bedroom. You know, mom and dad could both live there. But the ones that are licensed for two bunk beds, they're about two foot wider than this. A single mom, two kids, out there trying to find a place to live. This is a, this is a hand up. You go across the street to the north and get job training. You can go a block down the street and two blocks west the Center for Children and Families. And this room we're standing in on a cold night will sleep over 100 people. We were talking a minute ago about a way that the community as churches and other groups can help sponsor these cabins. Could you tell us a little bit of how that works and how would you recommend they do that? What we're trying to do is get them furnished one time and then we're getting churches and civic organizations to adopt the house. You adopt one and we'll put your organization's name on the front and the sponsor that helped pay for it putting their name on it and the sponsor that's going to maintain it. So when the person moves out, they can take the uh, all the contents with them. And we've got about half of them sponsored though. Yeah. Oh wow, really? We ran we wow. one really? story in the paper and it just flooded in. Okay. People wanting to sponsor one of these houses. Well, what you're talking about today is let's keep this rolling. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and I think if people wanted to come in to Food and Shelter and learn more about what we do, get a tour of this campus and see where we're going from here, I would be more than happy to make that happen. April, amazing project. This is, this is what community is all about. But those that are watching are going to want to know how can they get involved, how can they help food and shelter, how can they help with these amazing projects that you guys are doing for the community. We need our community to make sure that it keeps going. Um, so we need people to invest their time their energy and their resources to make sure all of the families that come in and move in are well cared for from here on out. People can donate through our website, of course, foodandshelterinc.org, or you can send a check to our office at P.O. Box 5537, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070.